Welcome back. We're inside the vault. I'm Chris Collinsworth. Joining us now, Jesse Ashlock from Details Magazine, and we were talking about the modern man's crazy juggling act. We asked, who has it tougher, married guys or single guys? Let's watch the single guy diaries, then we'll be back to talk about just how miserable Alonzo really has it. It's 6.30 a.m. here in Houston, Texas. I usually start my day off with a great workout. Let's go. I just realized I checked email twice in the last 15 minutes while waking up. Probably need to work on that. All right, now off to the gym. Good morning. I live right here. And that's our first restaurant, Slow's Barbecue, next door. Going to be a coffee house here. We just purchased a building next to it, so that'll be free artist spaces for the next year while we put together a plan, but we'll eventually put another restaurant in down on the corner. The floors we bought are uh, reclaimed floors we have got from Architectural Salvage Warehouse Detroit, who hires early release prisoners to take down homes by hand. The reason I work out is because you got to have your mind and body. I really don't like running, but it's a de-stressor. Approaching one mile. This is no mom scrambled eggs. <laughs> now I'm finally here at my office. Always business, never personal. I'm fortunate because the restaurant's so successful and we have a great talented team that I spend most of my time out in the community. We founded a company called Stay Classy. We uh, spun it into a, a business where we were consulting and providing uh, website services for different nonprofit organizations. All right, time to close up shop. I decided to take one of my clients out for uh, some spirits. That's the girl that rejected me. She actually told me to leave her table. Now we're working after the work they do in a volunteer project. We just had a fun meeting now. This will be less a meeting and more a social gathering. We're all pretty beat don't necessarily feel like going, but we will anyways. As you can see, it's definitely go, go, go all day, every day. Get a little more tired, but at the same time, it's awesome. It's been a long, long day, and that's usually how I finish my days. I'm usually exhausted. All right, well, good night. I'm going to answer some emails and nod off. All right, I've just got to be honest with you. The married guys seem way happier than the single guys. Am I right? Joe, uh, back me up on this. You know this. what? I have to kind of agree. I feel like, first of all, there's a lot of working out going on. There's, <laughs> and I feel like they're working out for the women to, to attract a woman. Save your pity and your misery. Do you see the hours they put into working? They couldn't put in those hours working if they were married. Yeah, I'm getting married. absolutely married to my job because when I'm on stage, I'm at home, life is great, and I'm happy. I'm but so Jesse, you are, you're a little bit in between here, I'm right? I'm in between. I'm not single. Um, if, I, if my girlfriend heard me calling myself a bachelor, I'd be in big trouble when I got home. But I'm not married and I don't have a family. I'm kind of trying to make the transition from, you know, Alonzo's lifestyle to yours, which I recognize it's a little bit like trying to jump over the Grand Canyon. Those fathers with their babies um, really, really looked like a great, great way to live a life. I, wa I want that. I, I think that the, the you know, concern about career slowdown is legitimate, and I really have that as well. I think my, my girlfriend does too. So we're wrestling with the question of how we go from our current lifestyle to having children. You know, that's a really, really big transition. Is it a little scary? Uh, terrifying. I mean, it really could be sort of the end of your career if you got married and had kids. Is that... A... You know, it's something that I, I think, uh, as a woman, you kind of struggle with, yeah, because you worry about, obviously, this figure. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> Our ratings just went up two points on that one. There we go. It is yes, something sir. that I worry about. But thank God that people are making it, I mean, Hollywood's definitely making it easier for a woman to have a kid, bring the kid to work, you know? And, and I'm, not, I'm not scared. I'm just, personally, I'm not ready yet. I think I have a lot of, uh, a little bit more growing up to do before I start to teach a little one. But you know? at some point, you have to recognize you're never going to be as grown up as you think you should be. You just have to That's take the plunge and do it. That's what my dad told me. That's exactly what Chris. he told me. Never crosses your mind, what if I didn't do it? I was really good at being a bachelor. <laughs> now, you know, it's not like, you know... I don't like the I, sound of that. Not, not, not like I woke up one day and let's, I was married. Right, I mean, but let's clarify this. You were not the ordinary bachelor. You were a star in the NFL. 
that makes it so much easier to be a bachelor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. It, it was it was easy, you know. And but uh, honestly, it happened so fast. I was not even slightly looking to have a relationship, get married, any of that stuff. And I met Holly, and it was over. I mean, I was talking about the possibility of marrying this girl the night that I met her. Scoring oh. big points right there. Thank you very much. I'm not stupid. I've been married a long time. I understand how this process works. But here's a big question is, would, would you two guys switch? Would you trade places? We couldn't, because he's not that funny. I've heard him talk, <laughs> and it, it's almost boring. He, he'd be starving as a comic. It'd be sad. All right, bottom line. And, Jill, I'll start with you. Who has it tougher... Married guys, single guys. Single guys, because I think you're always chasing something. This might surprise you, but I will say the married guy has it tougher because he has people depending on him. Now, as far as a single guy always chasing something, we're not. You know, I was originally going to answer the married guy because it feels like it's such a complicated balancing act, but I think my answer is really the single guy because he doesn't have what the married guy's got. Next on Inside the Vault, the getaway. All you need is a car in a couple of hours, of course. Problem solved. Online right now at InsideTheVault.tv, ask the editor. Top experts from Bon Appetit and details answering this question. Do Americans work too much? The answers and more exclusive content at InsideTheVault.tv. <laughs>